In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this wheel portal transition in DaVinci Resolve. You need two clips for this, obviously. The second clip should be similar to what I have. You can also make this with headlights or the windscreen, for example. Position the clips like I do. Open the wheel clip in color page and take your pen tool to mask it out. Try to make the mask as precise as possible. Once it's done, head to tracker window and track the mask both ways. If the tracker tracked poorly, press on the frame button to fix the points manually. Great, go over to node section and right click. Select add alpha output and connect it. Then to finish off the mask, add some softness. Copy the masked layer and open that one in the color page. Click on this icon to invert the mask. I will disable the rim layer for now. Copy the inverted layer and make it a compound clip. Right click it again and press change clip speed and then hit freeze frame. Drag the clip a little bit like I do and cut out the excess. Open it in Fusion. Find Transformation. Make a keyframe on the last frame for size and another one on the first frame. Zoom the clip until it's not visible anymore. Open Spline window and copy the look of my graph. Now you can enable the rim layer and disable the inverted one. Compound clip the rim layer and open it in the Fusion page. Once again, find Transform. Go few frames forward and make a keyframe for center. Then go forward about 15 to 20 frames and make another keyframe. Go back and adjust the center values so the rim is not visible. It doesn't necessarily need to be fully out of the screen since the inverted layer will cover the sides. And again, you can copy my graph. Enable the inverted layer. Good. The last step is to enable motion blur for the animations. That's basically it.